Uh, welcome back my dear friends and, and students, uh, a very good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of you and this is the DADM which is Data Analysis and Decision Making 2 course under the NPTEL MOOC series and as you know this to, uh, total course duration is for 12 weeks and total number of lectures would be 60 that is 30 hours and each week we have uh, 5 lectures each being for half an hour and after each uh, week we have assignments. So, as you can see from the slide we are in the 24th lecture which is the uh, last but one um, lecture for the fifth week and um, uh, as you know that we were discussing about AHP which is analytical hierarchy process. And my name is Raghunandan Sengupta from the IME department at IIT Kanpur. So, the problem was if you, if you remember we were discussing that to buy a car and there are four different cars, uh, three different criterias, alternatives being the cars and we are making a decision. And if you remember we are only considering the decision of one person and that it can be replicated, this concept can be replicated for different type of decision makers who are in the same family who want to buy that car, that is one car they want to buy collectively. Now, when the decision is being made, you are giving scores, I am just repeating it, uh, whatever you have done, we are giving scores, the principal diagonal is 1, the of the diagonal elements are uh, not symmetric because you, if you can give a score for the ith with to the jth one, if you give a score of 2 to the ith one, then the jth one will be half, if you give a score of say for example, 9 to the ith one, then the score to the jth one will be 1 by 9, signifying the liking and disliking propensity for those decisions. It means, it, as I have repeated, mentioned that I will again repeat, it means that if you are in a position to take a decision i which is favorable for you, you will be very happy, hence you will give a score of 9. But due to some circumstances, you are being forced to take the decision j which you do not like, hence your, uh, your love for the decision, propensity for the decision would be 1 9. So, this is just a scaling um, concept which has been used. And then also I, I mentioned that you want to find out the lambda max that means the overall score you, you have for, for the ranking of either the criteria when you are comparing the criteria amongst themselves or the decision when you are trying to compare the decision among themselves. And the value of A is a priority matrix would basically give you the priority vectors or the scores and then basically you find out the average, find out the consistency ratio, consistency index and you will compare that whether the value which you get does give you a consistency score such that you are consistent in your ranking process uh, or there is no much no such ambiguity in your decision. So, let us continue more uh, in discussion about the problem. If you remember there were three alternatives and they were the primary level one, they were not tertiary level like safety was not divided into further groups and so on and so forth. Now, obviously, the cost factor will come, we will consider that in a very simplistic manner. So, in the HP method, uh, the, in the problem, when you are doing the ranking alternatives, then once we you do, now you have three um, um, alternatives, style, cost. So, I will only discuss first the style and the cost and the other things will come out automatically. So, consider the first matrix. I will I'll use the red color to highlight. So, this is style. So, this is the criteria which you are going to highlight and what are the decisions. Either you can buy a Civic or I 20 or an Escort or an Alto. And if you see the principal diagonal is 1 as it should be because when you compare Civic with the Civic the decision is 1 is to 1 that means you are equally disposed on both the sides. You are, you are just considering ith decision and the jth decision or the ith alternative and the jth alternative and in this case i and j are the same which is the civic. Similarly, for i 20, i j being same, the second value is 1. I am just hovering my electronic pen over that. When you com compare escort to escort, it is 1. When you compare all to all to, it is 1. Now, let us go to the of the diagonal element. So, consider that I am, let me use a different color, I am considering 
I 20 with respect to civic. So, this is the value 4 given here and when I compare civic with respect to I 20 the value 1 fourth is there. So, what it does it mean? If I am taking the decision I 20 then the propensity or the positive value which I accrue to myself for taking the decision of I 20 with respect to civic is 4 or 1 is to 4 times, uh, 1 is to 4 times in the sense I am uh, 4 times more inclined to take I 20 and in the case when I take civic due to some reason maybe due to some cash crunch consider civic may be less costly consider say for example, my friend is insisting that I should buy a civic or I have heard that the civic uh, um, some of the qualities of civic is basically the mileage and all these things are better. So, obviously, it will have a, a so called influence in my decision when I consider the style one I am basically uh, giving a point of one fourth. Now, remember this I am only considering from the point of view of style it will change depending on, on other uh, alternate uh, criteria. So, I give a score of one fourth. So, this is definitely not symmetric as I had mentioned. When I consider Escort with respect to say for example, Alto and Alto with respect to Escort, so Alto gets a score of 5 with respect to Escort while Escort gets a score of 1 fifth with respect to Alto that means, I am more inclined towards uh, Alto on the um, uh, style front. So, again you have the matrix this is matrix A you know what is x, x is the Eigen uh, vectors lambda is I, 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 I may. So, the, the values of lambda has to be found out Eigen values. So, A x is equal to lambda max x the formula you put that solve it and uh, the initial matrix A which is the priority matrix is this one. That leads us to the priority vector, priority vector has been 0 0.13, 0 0.24, 0 0.07, 0 0.56. And if you add them up, they come out to be 1. If you remember, we are following the principle of trying to normalize either through the rows or the columns and checking the sum should be 1 correspondingly. And I mentioned that whether you normalize along to along the row or the column, the answer would be the same point 0.1. Point number 2, normalization basically means that you are basically bringing the ratio or sum of the points which you are assigning to the alternatives or to the criteria should add up to 1 and here the normalization has been used where you basically divide by the sum of the total scores that is in a way you are trying to basically depict what type of utility function you are trying to use and mentioned that in the last class which was in the 23rd class. And I also mentioned that if you are trying to follow the uh, utility function for a particular person, you are going to use that same utility function for that person for different type of comparison of the criteria or the alternatives in between you are not going to change. Another point I did also mention that the uh, utility functions or non normalization concept which you are going to use for different person may be different, but we will try to stick to the point where we are using the same normalization criteria for all the decision makers for a particular decision here in this case is basically buying a car based on different type of criteria which are their style cost and other things. Now, let us go to the cost factor the principal diagonal is 1 which means when you compare civic to civic on the cost front I 20 to I 20 on the cost front escort to escort on the cost front alto alto to alto on the cost front the score is 1 1 is to 1. When I am considering the, cons, uh, the, the cost factor of I 20 with respect to civic, so let me use the same color, this is half civic to I 20 this is 2. Now, you see in the style case you gave a score of 4 to I 20 and 1 4 to civic, while in the cost factor you give a score of uh, 2 to civic 
and half that is inverse of that to I 20. So, obviously, on two different criteria, you are ranking the two decisions differently point 1. Point number 2, the differentiation scores would be different in both the criteria, which is possible. It need not be that you give a score of 4 here and 1 fourth here to balance the score, which is 4 and 1 fourth. That means, you are not forcing the leveling playing field uh, for the decisions. It can be any random depending on what you think on a standalone basis the scores you should give between I 20 and civic on the cost front. Similarly, you have considered what the score you should give to I 20 and civic on the style front. Similarly, when I consider let me take the same color if I consider escort to alto it is one fourth when I consider alto to escort it is four. So, initially the scores were so in the initially the scores were five to one five here it is four to one four. And in this case, in the earlier case, when I had done of I 20 to civic, it was 4 to 1 4 and here it is half to 2 on, on two different uh, criteria style and cost. And if I consider again, I do the same thing normalization across the row or the column checking the sum should be 1, I am using the same concept of normalization, because this is the same person who is doing it for comparing all the forecasts on style front and I am comparing the forecasts on the cost front. So, here normalization will be the, the values of the priority matrix, respective values in the priority matrix. So, this is the priority matrix for the cost. you divide each cell by the sum of the scores uh, and you get the priority vector. So, here they are a 0 0.38, 0 0.29, 0 0.07, 0 0.26 and if you see the rankings are changing. In the first case, the highest score was 0 0.56 for alto, here the highest score is basically for civic on the cost front when you are trying to compare. This 0 0.07 is just a coincidence that the values uh, for escort are the same. So, the priority ve vectors would give you the information that how you will proceed to find out the consistency ratio and consistency in the index and then try to compare whether there is a rationality in the decision making process the exactly what way ever we have done when we are considering style cost and the other factor. Now, I come to the fuel economy case here some values are given I am just considering very arbitrary values. So, I am considering fuel economy for civic uh, is, uh, is 34 in the uh, kilometer per liter which is in cost in rupees I 20 27 escort is 24 alt is 28. These are a little bit higher values I know that, but just I am trying to give a comparison and the priority vectors whenever I, I basically come when I, again I do the same comparison find out the fuel economy concept for all the four um, uh, cars which are the alternatives again to find out the priority uh, matrix, then find out the priority vector. The priority vector basically is as I found out for the other two. Here in the third case is 0 0.3, 0 0.24, 0 0.21, 0 0.25 again civic is higher. So, it is not that civic will come higher in all the senses, but you can find out. So, now remember one thing in the first two cases when you did the style and the safety they were based on just subjective values, you are comparing 1 is to 1 uh, that means, i th to the j th 1 considering others are not there. But in fuel economy, the picture is a little bit different. Fuel economy is a quantitative measure, fuel consumption ratios can be used to determine the relative ranking of the alternatives that is what we have done. And this uh, ratio which you can find is 34 by 113, 27 by 113, 24 by 113, 28 by 113. This ratios would give you the priority um, matrix, normalize them, either check up the sum of the rows is 1 or the sum of the column is 1. You follow the same thing. Another thing, I am repeating it, whichever normalization you use, whether row or column follow that throughout uh, the calculation for all the decision and all the criteria do not change in, in between. 
even though I had mentioned that the ranking process would give you the same thing whether you are doing the normalization along the row or the column, some of the rows or the columns in one, but they should be a, a standard procedure that it will try to utilize for each and every um, decision. The normalization concept of utility would remain fixed and also the, the way you are trying to normalize whether rows or columns should be fixed and you continue with that. So, using this quantitative values, you find out the priority values. So, you have now priority vectors for all the three um, criteria for all the alternatives. So, alternatives have been ranked. Now, you come here. So, when I basically, if you remember, when you are basically doing the style, cost, and fuel economy, economy the comparison, the scores which are shown in the green box 0 0.32, 0 0.56, 0 0.12 they all add up to 1. Again, the same normalization concept has been used. So, these are the scores which you have assigned to themselves when they are compared against each other without considering the alternatives in picture. <clears throat> but then when you come back to considering the alternatives with respect to each and every uh, uh, criteria, alternatives being civil, I 20, X Scott and Alto with respect to style this is the priority vector for the case of style. If I do the comparison of the priority vector for the case of cost for civic I 20 escort and alto, this is the priority vector which is assigned to cost. If I do the comparison on the alt, uh, alternatives based on the criteria fuel economy the priority vectors are as given. So, this is the exactly what I have where we have done. You have used the same concept priority I am again repeating priority matrix using the normalization concept using the sum concept that is one either rows or columns and trying out trying to find out the uh, priority vectors those average values all these things you, you have you will repeat it time and again. Now, we come we are coming at the last stage of the problem. So, now we want to combine them, combine them in the sense that all the alternatives corresponding to all the criteria will be combined to find out the best ranking. So, what we have is this. So, if you remember, I will just flip between two slides. So, please bear with me. So, let us consider the criteria weight. So, I will use the highlighter yellow. So, I will just highlight this vector just the side lines. So, what are the values 0 0.32, 0 0.56, 0 0.12. So, let us go back. So, these are the values 0 0.32, 0 0.56, 0 0.12. So, these are the priority vectors when the criteria are only compared without considering the alternatives. So, this is done we understand that. So, I put a tick mark this. this is taken care of. Now, let us come to the, the, the comparison of the four alternatives with respect to each and every criteria. So, I will use three different colors. So, first it would be. So, for the style one. So, let me consider the style one as this. So, what are these values for civic 0 0.13, 0 0.124, 0 0.07, 0 0.56. So, let us go back. So, these are the values. So, they are 0 0.13, 0 0.24, 0 0.07, 0 0.56 only for style. So, it is matching the style for all the four alternatives are as it is. Now, let us go to cost. For cost, it is 0 0.3. 38.29.07.26 0 0 for the four alternatives. Let us consider 0 0.38, 0 0.29.07.26. Here it is cost done for all the four alternatives. Then let us go to the fuel economy 0 0.32, 0 0.24, 0 0.21, 0 0.25, 0 0.3. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, 0 0.30 sorry, 0 0.30, 0 0.24, 0 0.21, 0 0.25, 0 0.30, 0 0.24, 0 0.21, 0 0.25, this is 
the priority vector for the um, for all the four alternatives corresponding to the criteria of fuel economy. So, this is done. So, you multiply the priority matrix with the criteria weights that means, you are trying to give the priorities and they are being weighted based on the fact that what is the weight weightages or the priority values which you are giving to the alternatives uh, to the criteria themselves. Once you multiply, so this is just remember the ranks and, uh, and the, the size of the matrix should be important. So, this is a 3 cross 3 and this is a 3 cross 1. So, obviously, the end result will be 3 cross 1 as it should be. So, if it increases or decreases it would not matter because if say for example, the number of alternatives increases here. So, the corresponding values can be taken care of because if this increases, but the style and the cost remains 3. So, this will also remain 3. If this increases style cost following other increases the length of this vector will also increase and you can find out the total weights which I will now highlight using the red color 0 0.28, 0 0.25, 0 0.07, 0 0.34. That means, you are multiplying the first row with the first column which is 0 0.28, 0 0.24 this, this second row with the second column will give you 0 0.25, third row with the, the, the column will give you 0 0.07, then the fourth row multiplied by the column will give you 0 0.034. So, I will just write one value here. So, if I consider the multiplication of, so the values would be, it be 0 0.13 into 0 0.32 plus 0 0.38 into 0 0.56 plus 0 0.30 into 0 0.12 that value should come out to 0 0.28 which is here. So, now consider 0. 24 multiplied by 0 0.32 plus 0 0.29 multiplied by 0 0.56 plus 0 0.24 multiplied by 0 0.12 come gives us a value of 0 0.25 the value is here. Then, if I find out, let me write it down. I know that uh, you have understood, but please bear with me. So, the second value is 0 0.07 multiplied by 0 0.32 plus 0 0.07 multiplied by 0 0.56 plus 0 0.21 multiplied by 0 0.12 that value comes out to be 0 0.07 this value is on the third set. So, this is just a coincidence that it is 0 0.07 here also 0 0.07 here also 0 0.07 here also. So, the last one 0 0.56 multiplied by 0 0.32 plus um, 0 0.26 multiplied by 0 0.56 plus 0 0.25 multiplied by 0 0.12 equal to 0 0.34, this value is the fourth value in the set. So, using this you find out the overall score. Now, the question would also arise that what if style had a tertiary levels of discussion hierarchy, cost had two such levels of hierarchy. So, like style can be color can be an important factor, seat adjustment can be important factor 
having say for example, sun roof can be an important factor, dashboard layout can be an important factor. So, all these things can be considered. Cost can be what is the EMI which is available, what is the resale value, what is the um, workshop charges, if you visit the workshop, what is the average cost which you have. Cost can be the whether the insurance is high or low, may not, it, may not depend on the person or the number of accidents the person has committed or how bad or good the car has been driven, but consider the due to some reason the insurance company is charging higher premium for one variety of car and a lower premium for other variety of car per month for the same type of person. So, those costs can be considered. Fuel economy can be say for example, whether it and the person drives the car along the highway and consider for when you consider Civic, I 20 Escort and all two, the fuel economies for the highways are totally different with respect to when you are driving in the city or in the in the sub urban areas. So, all these things can be considered in the tertiary level and you can also have the same type of priority matrix, same type of priority values, find them and basically proceed from the lowest level to the highest level. Now, let us add a cost. So, adding cost as a new criteria is very difficult in AHP. So, it has to be analyzed accordingly. You have to either add, this is your adding, remember that a new info set of information is coming. So, those were fuel economy in the sense per liter, what is the overall distance the cars could travel on an average, but now you are bringing the cost factor. So, the cost factors are again arbitrary values I have considered. Adding cost as a new criteria is very difficult in AHP, a new column and a new row will be added in the evaluation matrix. However, the whole evaluation should be repeated again since the addition of a new criteria might make the relative importance between the criteria totally may, may totally change. So, see for example, you had till now these three criteria of, um, of style, fuel economy and the other one and the cost, but consider that you bring safety say for example, or resale value, whatever it is. So, in that case, the relative ranking between the first three when we are there would may totally change when you consider the, the addition of that. Now, you have to basically consider the 4 1. So, instead one may think of normalizing the cost directly and calculating the cost benefit ratio for comparing the alternatives, which will be much easier. So, consider the Civic I 20 Escort Altos cost are given, you normalize them you find out the normalized cost, the same concept, sum of all the values will come in the denominator and the actual value will come in the numerator. So, the benefits which you get are also uh, given or in the ratios values and you find out the cost benefit analysis and basically add the priority ratios come, come corresponding to that and once you have that, the cost benefit ratios would be given this. With this, I will uh, end suddenly because the 30 minutes lectures for the 24th is over. So, we will continue discussing of AHP and other concepts in the 25th lecture. With this, I will end uh, today's 24th lecture and have a nice day and thank you very much.